I'm here with Trip Adler, uh, who is the co-founder of Scribd, which rhymes with ribbed, and uh, uh, which is, explain exactly what Scribd is for people who don't use it. Yeah, um, Scribd is the world's digital library. So we have uh, a free service where you can read unlimited books and documents, up to 40 million of them on any device, or you can pay $8.99 per month and read unlimited premium books on whatever device you like. So most people probably have come across your, your product uh, surfing around the, the web and they got these big long documents and they've mm -hmm. used it for free. Now this new, this relatively new thing is I can pay $9 a month and I get access to everything. Exactly. So we, um, we're we building the subscription model for books. So we've partnered with over 100 publishers and have over 100,000 uh, best-selling books and new releases where you can pay one monthly fee and then just read whatever you like. So rather than having to make a purchase decision every single time you want to read a book, you can just pay for access to the library and then and then think about what to read, not what to buy. And you, you, you have a big deal with HarperCollins. Yeah, so they're, um, they're one of the, the big publishers we've signed up, and we have uh, the majority of their catalog. And there's a lot of uh, great books in there by authors like Neil Gaiman and Paulo Coelho. That's great. And you started, so you started Scribd right out, you went to Harvard, you mm -hmm. graduated unlike many entrepreneurs, and then you played around a little bit with investment banking, and then you decided to start your own company. Yeah, so I, I tried a number of things in college. I was pre-med for a little while, and then I ended up studying biophysics. I tried investment banking. I worked in a bunch of research labs, and um, I decided I wanted to start my own company. So I, I um, met my co-founder, Jared, at Harvard. We, we tried um, a number of different ideas. We went to Y Combinator and then eventually stumbled on Scribd. And what was the original idea? So the original idea um, started when talking to my dad, who had a medical paper he wanted to publish. And in medical publishing, it takes about 18 months to publish a paper. And he just wanted to get the paper out there. Um, so we wanted to start a service that would let him really easily take his paper and publish it on the web and get it to his colleagues. Um, and then we started as a publishing platform. And over time, we realized that the main thing our publishers wanted was more readers. So we've, we've shifted our focus to building more of a product for readers. And how many people use your product? Uh, we have about 80 million users. Wow, and, and you've grown very fast, and you said you're already profitable and your revenues are in the tens of millions. Yeah, we've been uh, nearly doubling revenue year over year since we started the company in 2007, and uh, we've been quite profitable for the last couple years. So you're no longer relying on venture funding, you're just funding it out of the profits. Exactly, yeah, no, we're, we're quite profitable. So our challenge is now is how to take our profits and reinvest them to continue to grow our, our revenue. So if you look into the crystal ball into the future and it's five years from now mm -hmm. we're sitting here, what's going to be different? Um, well, I think we're going to be the, the, same, the same company, right? <laughs> we're the same startup. I mean, it, you know, we've, we started the company six years ago and it still feels a lot like it did early on. We're just bigger and have more people and, and more resources. So, um, so I think we'll be the same service. Um, I, think, I think we're going to have um, a lot more subscribers. I think will we'll be the way that, that people read books in the future. I think subscribing to books will be kind of the, will be the norm. And I think, um, I think it will be the world's digital library. And I think we'll be more than just books, right? We'll be the place where you subscribe to read your magazines, where you read your scientific papers, where you get sheet music, right? We want to be the world's digital library where you can pay $8.99 per month and find whatever content you want. So we really only have time for one more question, but this is one that's near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. So you said magazines are going to be involved. Uh, so what, are we going to have these paper objects that we play with anymore in the future, or is that just not going to happen? Um, yeah, I think it'll, it'll continue to shift to digital. Um, I don't think paper is going to completely go away. I mean, if you look at even in music, the, the supposedly record sales are coming back. So, um, so I think you're going to continue to see print books. But I think digital will be, continue to become more and more important. And I think um, the concept of owning digital files will become less important. Instead, it'll switch to an access model, which is what we're doing, where you pay a fee and can get access to the books rather than actually own the files. Trip, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.